Hi, I'm Dr. Adeline Tan from University of Malaysia, Sabah. I prepared this video clip to explain you need eight risk management in the course Fundamentals of Entrepreneurial Acculturation. I use this video clip to explain three subtopics of uh, risk management. First, the importance of risk management to an organization. Second, risk management process. And third, the type of risk. The learning outcome of this video clip is to understand the importance of risk management to an organization, especially business organization, know the risk management process and explain the type of risk and risk reducing method. First of all, you must understand what do you mean by risk. Risk is a probability of a damage or injury or loss that might be happening caused by either internal or external factors. Due to the risk might happen anytime, so any company, especially big organization, has to prepare to identify the risk and trying to overcome or reduce the risk. Risk management is any effort or planning to identify the potential risk faced by an, by an organization and try to reduce the risk itself. First, we must know what do you mean by risk. There are many types of risk. Due to risk we might facing a loss of money, financial loss. We also facing loss of uh, financial instability and we might face delay in production due to the risk. At the same time, our sales might drop due to if this problem happened and another possible Disadvantages of risk is it might cause the customer to dislike our product. So when we look at risk, we must understand there are actually six different types of risk. First, it is the financial risk. Financial risk is referred to any risk due to the financial problems, the money, the loss of money. It might be due to the increase in interest rate or due to a higher, higher financial cost. Second, strategic risk. That means our strategy might not be the best strategy due to the current situation. Third, the technological risk. It might be the change of technology cost that will affect our product. Fourth, the economic risk. Uh, this situation is like what happening now. When the economy drop, then we might be facing depression. Uh, dep Deflation, we might be phrasing deflation, and deflation might affect the customer ability to buy goods and services from us. Next, it might be regulatory compliant risk. That means the regulation change by the government will cause us to have to change. Just like what's happening now, the government makes sure all the companies or the business that open now must follow the SOP provided by the government. So this is a risk for the government for the company that the company have to try to solve it. And last, it is the operational risk. When we talk about operation, it might be a problem with the workers or the production itself. So these are the six different types of risk. The importance of risk management is first, we can it can help us to reduce the waste of resources, help us to conserve our resources. Second importance of risk management is to protect the reputation and the corporate image of the company. Next, to prevent any legal liability, to prevent the company being sued by the workers or being sued by the employee, uh, the customers or by the stakeholders. Protection against people. People here refers to people inside the organization as well as the stakeholders and the environment. And last, enhance the capability of the company to face the various problems that might be happening in future. When we do risk management, there are five steps list. You can refer here. Risk management process start by identifying what are the possible risks. And then we try to study and evaluate the risk. For example, we are now facing a pandemic now we have to know what are the possible risks one of the possible risks is it might be the employee being uh, affected by this infect by the virus 
So we have to know if this happened, what are the possible costs or what are the possible problems that the company might face? First, the company might have problem. They have to close down for a while. They might do uh might follow the SOP and etc. So we have to plan early to avoid this to happen. So avoid the workers to be sick. So we have to plan. For example, we have two team. We have to plan. We will have two working team. Team A will work on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Team B will work on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, for example. So we have to work all this plan. And then we also might plan for uh, preparing safety equipment for our workers to protect them from being affected by the virus. Next, we start to implement. So we have to buy all the equipment and then we have to train our workers with the standard SOP. And then we have to make sure they follow the SOP, everything. So this is related to implement, to work the plan. After that, we have to control, evaluate and control. In another word, we have to check whether our workers are following the SOP that's set by us, following the plan that's set by us. And then we have to continue to check whether the plan that we have is suitable for the environment. If the environment change, what can we do? What are the next things that we have to do? So we have to always evaluate and control to check the effectiveness of our risk management. If we find that we need to change our risk management planning, then we go back to step one and start all over again. So when we do risk management, at the same time, we also do a contingency plan. Contingency plan is a plan to overcome the risk or to avoid the risk from occurring. In another word, sometimes we call this as plan B or even plan C. Sometimes we, work, we plan uh to work this way but it might not be that it might not work so we have to look for plan b or even plan c this is very common for business business which is facing a changing dynamic environment so we have to get ready to face changes and we have to always have contingency plan plan b in mind thank you for watching this video clip please Refer to Smart UMS for details of this course. Also, you can go to my Schoology account with this access code to download this PowerPoint slide or video clip, or even to to answer and to answer the question and the recap question to get your attendance marks. Thank you very much.